Hi everyone! Today I'm going through every single pink cover book that I own. We're going to talk about whether I like them or not, the ratings, and if I would recommend them. I thought it was like a super cute idea because, you know, my favorite color is pink. Yes, I will judge a book by its cover. This video was requested by two of my lovely subscribers. I need to give the people what they want. Okay, let's get right into this video. I'm going to take every single pink book that I have on my shelf right now. We're going to just go through all of them. I really hope I remember where these books were. Most of my pink books were like on these two middle shelves right here. So that's not going to be like too hard to reorganize. That's a lot. We're going to start off with some of my favorite five star reads. The first book I have here is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. And this is like one of my all time top favorite books romance book. Their writing will definitely get you out of a reading slump. This book is childhood best friends to lovers, small town romance, and lots and lots of books. This is like just a very cute summer bookish read and I would highly recommend it for this summer. The next book here is Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma and this is one of the funniest books I've ever read. Oh my gosh, I could not stop laughing. This is just like the brown girl book. I'm honestly so obsessed. Nothing has ever felt more relatable. Honestly, if you're brown, this book will be like 10 times funnier because the things that us brown people go through and our families, you'll know. Like you'll just, you'll just know. Next one I have here is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood and this one was very cute i think i gave this one a five star this book was so fast paced i finished it in like a few days i want to say like maybe a day or two this is workplace romance past nemesis to lovers just read it it was so good next is happily never after by lynn painter another one of my five star read lynn painter is another one of my favorite authors love her writing love how cute and young adult this was not young adult by the way, I did not expect the scenes that were in here to be in here. That was a nice surprise, but um, not what she normally writes. She writes very sweet, like high school type of love, and this was not it. But it was still cute, I really enjoyed it, and it was a 5 star read for me. It's a very short book, so if you need something to get out of your reading slump, this would be it. One of the other funniest books that I've ever read is Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter, and I want to reread this book because this book was so good. I could not stop laughing, giggling. It was just so cute. Basically, they're like texting each other and they don't know who they're texting. That's definitely one of those books that you cannot put down. You constantly just want to read because the bantering and just like the friendship, golden. Next book I have here is Funny You Should Ask. I did not like this book. This is by Elisa Sussman. I think I said that right. I don't get it. I don't understand the hype. I can't even remember what the storyline was about. I feel like it was just like all over the place. It took me quite a while to read this. I would not recommend this. I can't even remember how many stars I gave it, but it's not something... It, that will put you in a slump. I know it put me in a slump. This might just be like the prettiest book cover ever. This is Last Chance Books by Kelsey Rodkey. She is so cute. I'm just obsessed with everything about this book. Basically, this guy and this girl, they like work at their parents' bookshop and they're like right next to each other. They are always like sabotaging each other. So if you're looking for a sweet little small town rivals to lovers type of book. Next book I have is Nanny for the Neighbors by Lily Gold and this one was so cute. This was my first reverse harem book. Basically, there's like these three guys who hires this girl, like their neighbor, to babysit this random baby that showed up at their doorstep. She is like in love with all three of them. It's not like pages and pages of like steamy scenes and things like that. It's actually a very wholesome, like heartfelt, kind of book but it's very touching and i think you would really like it and it was also very funny so i would highly recommend this it's love unwritten by lauren asher and there's not like one book that i hated like every single thing that she writes i will eat it up this is <laughs> small town romance this is single dad ex nanny trope and it's giving all the summer vibes all the vacation vibes and i'm obsessed one of my favorite fantasy series i think this might 
be my second or third favorite fantasy series is the Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber and oh my gosh this is just like the most addicting like I need more like I can't believe that this series is only three books like I honestly need I, I need to know more about these characters like <sighs> the third book was just such a letdown and I, I really wanted more bring these characters back to life okay yeah the series is absolutely golden i honestly don't even know how to explain it because it's kind of like based off of the first series the caravel series it's based off of a character in that series and this is like his story and the main female character has pink hair so obviously like this is like a, a like a must five star read this book got me out of my reading slump this book ended up being my favorite book of the year last year every year i just like have a favorite book of the year so far i have two that's fighting for that top spot but we'll see we're just not going to talk about it this is probably the only calling book that i would recommend because it was very good and i think this is probably one of her best books if you are going to read anything Colleen related, I would recommend this book and only this book. This is the other book that is fighting for that number one spot for my favorite book of the year. This is Flawless by Elsie Silver. This is Small Town Romance, Golden Boy x Sunshine Girl, I wanna say. Read it, it was very good. Super fast pace. This book is not talked about like at all because it was just one of those books I found in my old library when I was in college and I immediately just fell in love with these characters and the stories. This is the Rebel Bell series by Rachel Hawkins. I remember I was on eBay trying to find this collection and I ended up finding the entire series. It was like a used series. Obviously this book was used. I would never do this. Like who does this? Why? It was, it, this is just like random quotes it's not even anything like cute it was just like they highlighted all the dialogue it's so weird it's about this girl she has like these warrior powers like they just randomly came onto her and she has to protect the one person she cannot stand her arch nemesis like her biggest rival anybody who tries to harm him she will literally punch them in the face like her boyfriend tried to do something to him one time and she like threw him on the ground and like tackled him and it's so cute. Basically, the girl and the guy, they've like known each other since they were babies and they just never got along because they're always like fighting for like that number one spot. Like they were like academic rivals pretty much. Oh my gosh. This was like my start of like enemies to lovers. If you're starting off with enemies to lovers, I feel like this would be the book for you because it's not too intense, it's not too much. There's no crazy like spicy scenes, it's a young adult. It's just absolutely precious. Go read it and the next two books are also like filled with action but there's also that hint of romance in there as well i don't even know what to say about this book like it's pretty but the inside of it i don't want to say garbage it's not what i expected this is like what is the word what is the word i can't think of it oh my god what is the word when there's like two people in love with the same person or one person in love with two people why can't i think of the word starts with a T. Oh my god, I can't think of it. Why can't I think of it? It's probably because I hate the word so much and I refuse to read anything. Basically, this book is about this girl, what she moved to Paris for a semester and she's miserable. She's just so... she doesn't want to be there. But then she meets this guy who kind of shows her around, teaches her French and things like that. And he has a girlfriend and he is just like not an active boyfriend, if that makes sense. The girlfriend goes to a different school and why can't I think of the word? This is going to bother me like all day. I need to Google this. Love triangle. <laughs> why? Couldn't I think of that? I hate love triangles. This is a love triangle book and I absolutely hate it. Um, this is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I'm obsessed with this cover, honestly. Like, she has like gold detailing that just shimmers and it's absolutely stunning. But it's a freaking love triangle and I hate it, you know. It's like they know I'm trying to film a video or something, right? Okay, next book that I have here is Why Love by Elsie Silver. This is 
another book that I am so obsessed with. You already know, you saw it in my reading vlog. If you haven't, go watch it. Highly recommend this book. This is billionaire, small town romance, low key workplace romance because he does open his own record studio and he hires his best friend's little sister as his assistant and honestly the bickering and bantering and the texting and the email between these two characters oh just go watch my vlog you'll you'll understand why i am obsessed five star read for me okay these two books are from the off-campus series by l kennedy and Oh my gosh, these books are so old. Like, I used to be so obsessed with the series that I made my entire book talk account. Like, it was just like off campus coded because I just loved these characters so much. Would I recommend the series today? Probably not. Um, because I feel like as I got older, I realized that these books were just like full on smut and that's like not really my cup of tea anymore i did not have that kind of college experience and it was kind of like it was different for me to read like when i was reading it back then i had just graduated college and i'm like wow i didn't do like any of the stuff that these people are doing like partying and things like that and looking back now these books are very i don't want to use the word immature i think i gave them all a five star back then I think for me now it would probably be like a two or a three stars if I were to read them again. I do love the characters. I think they were like one of my first like favorite group of friends that I like fell in love with. I think that this would just always have like a special place in my heart to be honest. Like don't get me wrong, this like got me back into reading. Okay, next book that I have here is The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walter. And this book was so, so cute. Five stars, loved it. Definitely recommend this for summer. Basically, it's about this girl who goes on this annual like summer trip with her family and she recently just lost her sister. So it's obviously not the same. And she meets this guy who like befriends her. They become like really close friends and he knows things about her and she doesn't know that he knows her. And oh my gosh, there's just like so much that's going on, but it was actually so cute. This is definitely a book that you would take like to the beach or just sit in your backyard, just like relaxing, reading. This is the book for that. I have my Paris illustration book by Megan Hess and I've never really gone through this book. I just remember like saving all of her illustrations on Pinterest. I had like a whole entire Pinterest board dedicated to just her illustrations. Just talks about like fashion and places that are in Paris. These next two books, they're not pink covers but the spine are pink and they just look very pretty on my bookshelves. This one is Betting on You by Lynn Painter. Like, do you see how pretty? It's like a nice bubblegum pink. This book wasn't like my favorite book from Lynn Painter. Probably because I was in such a terrible reading slump when I started reading this book and I just couldn't get into anything. Sky and this girl, they met on an airplane and they living in the same town and they now work together and they met, they made this bet that the guys and girls can't be friends. Yeah, you just have to read it to really find out. I feel like it was kind of misleading for me. This next book, I don't want to talk about it. But the spine is pretty, but I don't want to talk about it. What was even the plot of this book? Because I don't get it. This was just pages and pages of smut. I don't know how some people like this book. Do they like the book because of the main male character? Because I like the main male character. I didn't get the plot of it. I didn't under- I didn't get it. What like- okay, whatever. Next few books I have here are like little coffee table books and poetry books. The Chaos of Longing by K.Y. Robinson. She is absolutely stunning. I don't understand poetry. I don't get poetry. I just love sometimes just reading something and just immediately I feel connected to what I'm reading, if that makes sense. This book for sure, I understood. Like I understood everything that was in this book. Another poetry book is Swimming Lessons by Lily Reinhardt and a lot of people don't like it because they feel as if 
these were like words from a diary or like a journal or something. I enjoyed some of these. I just bought it for like display. I didn't think that I would actually read it. If you're going through like a reading slump right now, poetry books are like a quick and easy read that will kickstart your reading. Like you're just reading like two lines and it's so fast paced that you just constantly want to read more. And I feel like that's why I, I bought these poetry books. Okay, so this next book is The Emotionary, which is a dictionary of words that don't exist for feelings that do. And it's like, I don't know if it's like made up words or these are like actual words. So like, for example, sad and satisfaction, the word for that will be sad is faction. And it says the triumph of being wronged by others. Okay, the next two books I have here are coffee table books. So I have my little Dior book and I haven't really gone through this book yet, but it's basically just like fashion, like Dior fashion and like celebrities and icons and like Dior perfume. It's just like the world of Dior pretty much. Next, I have like this little peachy nude book and this is how to not always be working. It's a toolkit for creativity and radical self-care. I need as much self-care as possible. Like little prompts, like they ask questions and things like that. Like, how are you feeling? Okay, the last few books that I have here are my TBR. Just like quotes from Coco Chanel. Actually, I don't think these are quotes by Coco Chanel. These are just like quotes. What is this? Oh, I think they're just quotes from like books relating to Coco Chanel. Five books, like five pinky theme books that I have yet to read. The first one is Emma by Jane Austen. I started this book, I got to like page eight and then I'm like, oh my God, what am I reading? This is gonna take me a little bit to like get into and get used to. This is like a peachy orangey color. I cannot wait to read this because I feel like I will just fall in love with those characters. Next book I have here is idiot i have been reading this book since 2021 i kid you not i cannot get into this book i only read 160 pages i don't know what is happening i think that's like the whole purpose of this book is like the humor is so dry look somebody says easily the funniest book i've read this year it's probably because this is not your typical like modern humor like i don't even know how to explain it this is the next book i have here i started reading this book oh my gosh maybe like 2019 i think this book is like about audrey hepburn's like her lifestyle like what would she do in certain situations talk about her life as a movie star they talk about her life as a student when she was into a ballet if you're really into audrey hepburn and you want to know more about her life this is something that will give you a little glimpse last and final book on my tbr is this book which i was supposed to read in my last reading vlog but i didn't get to like it's just a very interesting book and but i have a feeling it's going to put me in a reading slump which is why i'm not like picking this up right away this is my complete pink book collection if you're currently going through a reading slump i hope that you pick up some of my five star reading because I promise you, you will get out of your reading slump. I'm currently slumming right now, but I refuse to reread books because I feel like that's just a waste of time when I have like a stack of unread books. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!